Yeah, so Christmas stream. I'm gonna have camera on and everything. So surprise. Oh yeah, forgot one thing. There. So I'm gonna be doing some Animal Crossing to start. I have done none of my island stuff for a while, so there's weeds and things everywhere. And then we're gonna be. Doing some online games, I'm thinking we might do some Scribbly or some, maybe some Jackbox, I think I've got Jackbox installed. Uh, we'll do some GeoGuessr and stuff as well, we'll do some multiplayer ones. But, we shall move into the game now, if anybody wants to visit. So i just got to remember to switch everything over properly. And can you all hear the game okay? I forgot to check that earlier. Whoop. Isabel's been trashing the place again. Oh, 
<gasps> Just give me the wreath recipe. I need to remember to switch everything over. Update information. There we go. <gasps> right, why has this game sound gone? Can you hear it now? Here is my little house. Mm -hmm. I need to put my actual winter cold one. There. Well, I have not changed it much. But we'll turn the game down a little bit then. That better. So here's the main room, and this is basically where I just dump stuff. So this is where I've got the awards and the Christmas trees and stuff I found, and the couple of golden things that I've got, and my workbench in case I need it. There we go, is that better? Here is the bathroom I have built. My little pet hermit crab and all the toilets in the world. And a bee there. And then over here we have my office, which I have added a couple of little bits to. So I now have some desk toys and a TV on the wall, which seems to be playing Japanese game shows. And then this is all my planning stuff, my little chemistry set. And then over here we have the kitchen, which is only half finished. I'm missing loads of stuff for this kitchen. So, so your cabinets, pans and stuff on the wall. A rice cooker and a kettle, some cutlery and a little table with a radio on it. And then upstairs we have my bedroom. So I have my little go board with the cushions next to it to sit on, my pet frog and my pet hamster and then my switch and my little laptop. Oh yeah and a ring fit as well. If you buy a ring fit they give you a ring fit in game. And then last of all, down here we have 
by Dungeons and Dragons room, which is the most decorated one. So we have like a Roman, like nobleman's outfit. We got all the books and different stars. We have a coffee machine because people drink like coffee like crazy when they're playing that game. Got some decorations for the wall. We've got character sheets and stuff on the table. And they're actually made to look like character sheets with a customization as well. So you can see the little boxes and everything for everybody to put their stats in. We have a microwave for making snacks. So. And explore outside and see what's new. See if I can't finally get rid of hands. Because everybody hates hands. Everybody. I'm slowly spreading my flowers further and further. I think I've got this level almost done with the wind flowers now. Like this little back bit I'm leaving blank intentionally. Oop. I should also change that message because the mind thing is finished now. Uh, timers there. Off. I will show you hands in a second. You will probably be able to hear Manu swearing from where we are. So this is Camo Frog's house with all these. Exercise gear and stuff out front. Don't think I've got any medicine either. Yeah, I'll just get some in the shop. Weeds. This is where all my roses are. I'm literally just missing blue roses at the moment. Hans is not in. Who is in? Dell is my newest person. And he has this cool, like, industrial room with all the barrels and stuff. A little generator. <laughs> oh, I thought he was actually going to give me some medicine then. Rubbish. But yeah, I have done nothing on this island today. I've not looked for the holes or checked the shops or anything. And if any of you want to visit, you are welcome to. Like, I'll open up the island and post it in chat so you can come and have a look around. Right, who's in over here? We have Hornsby. Hornsby is one of my favourite. He's like one of the original three villagers that moved in near the start. So you get your two starting ones. And then you have Hornsby. And he loves bugs, so I've given him loads of bugs. So here's the scorpion that I gave him. And here's the tarantula that I gave him. And there's his very, very safe glass bottle on top of his cooker. Hornsby is cool. I like Hornsby. Oh, the sneaky fox is there as well. Renee is still here. Renee was one of my starting villagers as well. She was like... One of the first two that lands on the island with you. What's she making? Something good. Come on, what are you making? Now she's laughing at us, we're getting stung by a wasp. Sheep, windflower reef. 
Ah, but I'm not going to get half that yet. Give me that recipe. The windflowers are one of my native ones as well, so I've got thousands of them. The ornament reef. Oh, it's purple wind flowers as well. Cool. And yeah, I did try and get all of my villagers wearing uh, the flannel shirts, so a lot of them will be wearing them. And the other ones that don't, it's just because I've not spammed them enough yet. So I keep giving them as gifts and sending them letters and stuff. Right, let's go and see what this scammer has got. Yeah, yeah, Red, you're going to rip us off with something. Right, so we've got... The only one of these that I recognise, which is the girl with the pearl earring. And... That is a fake, because she has her eyes open in the real one. <gasps> Hi, Manu. You're alright. I'm going to see if I can work out which one of these is fake. So, that one's a fake because her eyes are closed. Have a look at this one. Can't see anything obviously wrong with that one. And then we have... What's with this one? It's the ferret in this one. I'm pretty sure she's got like a brown ferret in the real one. So... I am going to buy vegetable face. And yeah, like I said, if any of you want to visit or anything at any point, just give us a shout. And I will open up the island and send you a code or something. Or I might just open up the island. Let anybody in. Yeah, I will have that one. That one is the real one. barbecue and a chair oh yeah you've got the flowers that I'm missing don't you so I can finally add them the only two that I'm the only ones that I'm missing from my collection or one of I always get lost doing this bit I couldn't be bothered putting a, like stairs or anything down to that little beach, so I'll just use the ladder here. Or I'll swim round. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I think this is Bill's house. Yeah, it is, because it's the one I put all the exercise stuff outside. Bill is out wandering. You steal my flowers, I'll eat all your chocolate again. Yeah, I love the um like the winter theme. Hi Roscoe, what do you want? Oh, he's got a wreath. Right 
let's do some tidying. This is Phil's house. Hi Willow, thanks for the follow. I will be opening up the island soon for people who want to visit. Oh yeah, um, there might be. You can bring them with you, Manu. I'll see if the there's any that I've not learned yet. And yeah, there is stuff on the floor all over my island because when my friend came around yesterday, I let her kid play on it for a bit and he loves shaking things off the trees. So there is just like fruit and sticks everywhere from where he just shook them all off. But if I go along here, this this will all be shaken off. Yeah. <gasps> there is no hidden trickster temple at the moment, but I am going to make one, definitely. I just need to work out how I'm going to hide it. Bubbles. Who else is here? Sydney. What are we on about, Manu? I don't time travel. Much. They can just stay on the floor for now. I can't be bothered shifting them. Santa suit, yeah, definitely. We have some flowers, we have bread, so you are a potential special red, so we will put you over here. Because even if I get gifted them, I want, I want to try and breed them as well, so I've got a load more. everywhere and yeah this is the little gifting area so if any of you do come and visit just feel free to take everything from here remember how to do it. <laughs> Dead. 
There we go. Done. Hi, Abby. We are doing Christmas things. Or some Christmas things. I will show you some. Oh, no. There he is. Go away. Go away. Go away. No. No, I don't want to talk to hands. Don't like hands. There is Bill. Bill is one of my original villagers. I will go and open up the island. Yeah, nobody likes hands. Nobody does. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I have a... Uh, it's my first time actually having Cam on as well. I even have. This is my emotional support bear for when we're playing uh, Phasmophobia and stuff like that. It keeps me safe. <laughs> Comes in useful. And yeah, he is called Richard. So we'll invite by a code. The more the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> I should have stayed on that code for a second. There you go. So if any of you want to visit, that's the dodo code. Hi, Sherry. Where I div, I'm just tidying up my mess of an island at the moment, or trying to. This is my shop area with my little bandstand. Right, let's see what we've got in the shop today. <laughs> I want to sell this, 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 and this. <clears throat> Sorry, right, Abby, we'll be playing some other games as well later as well. I might play Scriblio and stuff like that as well later on. <gasps> Street organ. I will buy it. I'm pretty sure that's what Sherry plays. <gasps> so you want to see my tire, Sherry? Alright then. Thanks for the follow, Div. It's my hair at the moment. It used to be 
quite a bit longer, but it's growing again at the moment. And my sister is coming to visit the island. Yeah, I, uh, I had the beard up until, like, midway through last year, and I uh, cut my hair shorter while I was off on holiday for, like, a week or so, and I shaved the beard, and I came back in, and some people didn't even recognise me. My own manager didn't recognise me, and then I went straight, went back in at first. And this will be Manu from Old Man's Pen Island. Oh yeah, I should buy some medicine, shouldn't I? Fix my face. And back in we go. Anything decent in here? Fish rod, fancy umbrellas. Nah, no, I should get some medicine and go. I'll get five just in case. Talk to hands, didn't she? <sighs> These two. Yeah, purple ones, just what I needed. That means the only thing I am missing now is the blue rose will take me a while to get but I think I've got more stuff of it. <gasps> it's alright Manu I can clone them. I got used to the cloning and everything in it. So swap clothes and put my Santa outfit on. <laughs> oh yeah, does one of you want to play Flowers or Death? Flowers or Death? Kelly, Kelly, come on, play Flowers or Death. You gotta spin the wheel and try and stop it on flowers. If you stop it on flowers, you're gonna flower. Otherwise, you get death. So you gotta hit it again to stop it. Mm 
Death. You win death. Death. Get back here, you. Gotcha. So yeah, these three big areas here, if you want anything from any of these, you can just take it. This is all free stuff. There are a lot less fossils at the moment because my mum took them all. My mum has recently got Animal Crossing as well, so me and Kelly have been funneling her supplies. There we go, our collection is almost done. So we have all the purple flowers, all the black flowers, all the orange ones, all the pink ones, the one green flower, the green mums, and almost the blue ones. Um, you can do if you want, Manu. Like, send them to me and Kelly and we'll, like, funnel them onto her. Hi, Breener! Yeah, you're getting close, Sherry. I saw your number of followers, like, flying up. Kelly, Kelly, look, Brina's here. Brina's here. So yeah, I do already have all the fossils, so I can just dump them all there. Got rid of it, Brina. Yeah, this is my uh, nerdy Star Trek one. With Picard's face on it. <laughs> I got it. I think in the UK and a few other places the site's called EMP or EMP.com I think Manu said in the Netherlands it's called Large or something like that Hello Bill Right what else was I going to do? Oh look, everybody's cleaning up the beaches for me. And yeah, if you see if you find all the fallen fruit and everything around here, that's what Elijah did yesterday. Oh yeah, this is my little lookout spot. Where you can watch the stars and stuff. I'm still annoyed that you can't do wishing stars from a chair. Like, it'd be so much better if during the little like meteor showers and stuff you could have your character sat in a chair and do it, but no, you have to be stood up. Yeah, the koala villager is pretty cool. So I think I got rid of, is it Bubbles she's called? 
not above wolves. It was the sheep I got rid of. The koala's called shit Sydney. Not that I've seen. I've not seen any tents you can sit down in yet. I want one of those as well. If I want to put one in my little camping space. Yeah, Brina's not been well. You feeling any better, Brina? Or are you just sort of hiding out until the new year? I have a lot around my aquarium. My aquarium is almost full. <laughs> yeah, we could do with you back in raids, Brina. Like, we're doing alright, but it's just not the same without our guildmaster there to keep everybody in line. So yeah, my aquarium is pretty much filled out. I'm only missing like a couple of little creatures from the diving stuff because I've not done much of the diving. But I've got all the actual catchable fish. So we've got the piranha, um, the bichir or however you say that, and the dorado. And the arapaima and the arowana. And then you have all the cool deep sea stuff on the next one. Oh, you're going to give Charles's wake up call. See, these are my favourite ones, all the deep sea ones. So you've got the vampire squid, which is, it's not technically a squid, it's a kind of octo octopus. And it has, like you can see it on there slightly, it's got sheets in between all of its tentacles and it sort of opens them out like a like a balloon. You've got the giant isopods which are basically just giant wood lice. If you're still my green mum, I am going to go and eat all your chocolate. So we've got the Venus flower baskets, which are like, like pitcher plants underwater. And then we have the barrel eye, which is the little see-through fish. We have the oar fish, which are giant things in real life. We've got the football fish, which is ugly as all hell. And the coelacanth. Which people actually thought was extinct for millions of years. It's a prehistoric fish. It's got like bony teeth and everything. And the only reason they think the coelacanth... The only reason they found out the coelacanth was alive. Because there was a marine biologist in the Bahamas, I think. Literally walked past a fish market in a village and saw one on the sale there to eat. So he bought it. And then we have my little snow crab. But yeah, the aquarium is is my favourite bit of this. Like you got the sharks and the giant oarfish and the sunfish and the whale shark and the tunas and everything in there. I think the tropical bit is over here. But I've almost got all the bugs as well. I'm only missing a couple of bugs to finish it all off. So yeah, this is where all the tropical stuff is. So you've got seahorse, and the blowfish, and the pufferfish, and a hammerhead shark. And you've got a little flying, well, say flying swimming crab over there. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go for a div. Um, there's the code. It should just let you in. So we got sea grapes and an oyster, and the giant clam, and a lobster. And then these are some of my favourite things. Sea butterflies. They are basically like a species of slug, I think. No, I love aquariums. Well, I love going to them. There's one that we've been to a couple of times called Blue Planet, which is quite a big one in the UK. And I'm always recommending people go there because it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Blue Planet Aquarium that we've been to has a little petting pool where you can pet the little rays and stuff in it. Yeah, I think there's only a couple of bugs that I'm missing and it's like, it's some of the beetles that I'm missing, I'm sure of it. I love that they throw in all the butterflies and everything around here. So like even though you've collected all the insects, they're not just in one place, they get used throughout it. And even some of the fish and stuff get used as well. Oh yeah, you can pick up the starfish in there, can't you? At Blue Planet. This is the butterfly house. I have all of the butterflies, so it's absolutely filled. It even has a little snail in it as well. Butterfly house is cool. Yeah, a tropical bit would be cool. Like they have li this little bit which is like unique displays. So you get like moths and stuff in here. And then you got the orchid mantis. And the walking stick and a walking leaf. And there's the tarantula hiding at the back. And there's our little scorpion and our dung beetle. <gasps> Poop beetles! Those things are annoying as hell when they show up. Like, what are they called? Mole crickets. Like when you're on there, when they're on the island, you can hear them, but they're underground, and there's nothing to show where they are. So you just hear crickets constantly until you dig up the spot where they are. And here is the little science room. So we have mosquitoes, and fleas, and the paper kite butterfly, and some regular flies. And then over here we have the little wharf roaches and a hermit crab who hides. Yeah, that's where we combine them all to make monsters. 
Like we have already tried to make Godzilla once, but it has not worked. <laughs> and here is my little display with my mutant. Which is made up from parts of three different fossils just jammed together. Green mum is still there. You get to live for now. And here's my little fishing area. Piggy, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I've not looked in the clothes shop today. I've seen that last Halloween update they added pumpkins and stuff like that and they have done a couple of collaborations like they did I know they did a McDonald's one because McDonald's made an island and you could go there and if you went to the McDonald's island you could get like a code to get free burgers and stuff from McDonald's so it would not be surprise me if they did more collaborations Got all the Christmas jumpers in. I like that one. They got Christmas tree dresses and a reindeer costume. That's cool. Is that somebody leaving or is that Div arriving? We shall see. <gasps> it's Div from Peach Isle. Watch it start lagging out horribly now because he's on the other side of the world. Is it? Yeah, it's just being slow. There he is. Looks like he's been in a fight. I have all these roses here, I still don't have the blue ones. It's the only ones I've not got yet. And I'm still trying to put, clone this purple tulip. I run out of... yeah I did. I run out of watering can. That's why it's not there. Oh yeah, I should show you all Beth's drawings as well. Like, if you've played Among Us with us, like you might have heard Beth before and she's like ducked into a couple of streams as well but yeah she's uh every time she came to my island she left a different drawing and some of them are pretty cool 
Like I've done all sorts of terrible drawings on our notice board. So there is my original one from when I first started playing. And then Luna has pooped on my island as Kelly has shown us there. And there's my first froggy drawing. And that is supposed to be Baby Yoda. She's pretty good. And there's a cat from Beth. And a piggy from Kelly. And yeah, Beth really didn't like the sheep that I've got on my that I had on my island. I can't remember what the sheep's name was now. But I got rid of her in favour of the koala. And there's my birthday message. And I like the feel of rusty spoons. Yeah, if any of you have not seen Salad Fingers before, go and look it up at some point. Vesper, that was the name of the... <laughs> that was the name of the, uh... The sheep that we got rid of. Yeah, that Salad Fingers drawing is awesome. Hi, Bart! <laughs> and yeah, Sydney was the koala that I got. my little food stalls on my gambling machine. Everybody loves the gambling machine. Uh. Yeah, we were introducing a bunch of people at work to uh Salad Fingers not long ago because they'd not seen it. I think it was Salad Fingers and Happy Tree Friends and what were the other ones? I remember when you had a saxophone, Kelly. together. <laughs> I think I can hear Sherry cringing from here. He must hate this. <gasps> Steve. Dave, come and play. Come and play Flower or Death. Yeah, Bart, you've been a mod for ages. You've just not noticed. Hi, Alex. I accidentally talked to Camo Frog. <laughs> oh yeah, the big dice is a lamp. <gasps> Div on a flower. Div, Div, come here.
I don't even know if he can pick them up. Don't think he can. He might be able to pick it. I'm not sure. Uh, I will turn the dice lamp on. It was a gift from my friend and her kid who visited yesterday. So yeah, it's a giant D20. There we go. That is Camo Frog's skin, if I remember right. Because he's just a camouflage patterned frog. Quick, gotta go and protect my green mob. I wonder. Ah. There's no option to kick people yet, I don't think. I could try. Oh, no option to kick people. Ah, it was worth a try. Not having it. It'll be forever to get that green flower. You can't have it. I'll sneeze on you. He's the blue gorilla that's walking around, Div. No, oh, put it back. Put it back. Manu is going home. Bye, Manu. <laughs> Yeah, nobody likes hands. Nobody does. He's horrible. Um, where is Hans? Is he still wandering about? Yeah, the guy with the blue and white fur will be hands, probably. Give catching snowflakes. This is hands who nobody likes. Cover your eyes, Manu. Look at him. Just look at him. He's horrible. <laughs> You've not seen the best bit yet, Alex. I spent a while, uh, Sorting out transitions and stuff as well. Ta da! I had a lot of help with it. Like, there's a, a site that had them pre set up, but none of the animations were in place or anything. So, I I prodded somebody I work with who deal who does a bit of 
animation and stuff to get them to help me sort it. And this is Phil, who Manu is always trying to steal. <gasps> He's sick. He's got the Rona. Run away! But yeah, Phil is a peacock. I was going to try, but I've got to get him to actually leave, so he just doesn't want to do it at the moment. But I've left him alone for ages and stuff, and pretty much everybody else has thought about it, but he never does. He never asks to leave, which is rubbish, because I want to get rid of him. Oh yeah, there's my little isopod. He lives in front of the shop to greet people. No worries, Div. I will see you in a bit. I will probably be watching your stream tomorrow as well. Yeah, go for it, Alex. She wants to come and visit and have a look round and stuff. She doesn't have to give any free stuff. She can just come and have a look round. See you later, Div. Right, where shall I put these purple pansies? Who had pansies outside their house? There goes Kelly. It is a giant D20 dice. It was a gift from my friend who visited us yesterday. This is what her and her kid got me. So it's a giant 20 sided dice lamp. It is cool. Oh, you want us to go visit your island, Kelly? Alright, then send us a code or something and I'll come and trash the place. But first, I'm going to check she's not run off with that green mum. Because she will. No, still there. We're good. I don't have to go and murder her. Right, where to put the purple pansies? Put one here. There we go. And they've got reds doubled up there, so we'll put one there. There we go. Oh, it's my uh, T Rex must hat. Can't see it because of this. Ah. It has little dinosaurs on it. Not sure if you can see them because of the light.
Yeah, let's go and trash Kelly's Island, shall we? Dig up all of our plants and chop down all of our trees. Kelly's place. Wee. <laughs> I don't think Bart's been good enough either. Trash Kelly's Island. I'll put junk everywhere. I cannot type things N to eight. There. Looks like we've got a flight for Orifice. I want to hear you playing songs on that ocarina in a couple of months. But I just want you to burst out and do Saria's song on one of my new streams. Or on one of your streams. So this is Kelly's Island. Bart, Bart, do you have Exodia? Do you have the instant win cards? Yeah, I saw some people playing the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! online card game not long ago. And some guy got Exodia twice in a row. Just like two matches in a row, his opponent pulled out Exodia an instant win. <gasps> These ice sculptures are cool. And the steel one.
Oh look, here's some of my drawings. So I drew a nice big spider for her. Ged. And an angry rabbit. An empty battery, so... Like the good big brother I am, I am going to leave her another message. Oh yeah, there's the island flag, which is my sister's rabbit, Luna. Luna! <gasps> You've been watching the bad Batman films again, Brina. Like, I did love... Hello, coffee for dinner. We are currently exploring my sister's island. I am just here to cause trouble. Oh, pyramid. Pyramid. So I think she put the cord in chat. And thank you for the follow as well. I get confused sometimes. Where is your house? Map. My mum have a house on the same island. So. Kelly's house is here. Oh, that's quite cool. Like all the ice sculpture furniture. I have tons of DIYs. There's not that many that I need. Like, I forget most of them. Guitar. <laughs> Wait, let's go and explore. This is a cool kitchen. This is the Frido freezer where she hides the dead bodies. Quick, let's turn everything on.
What's that bar? You want someone to say penis enlargement pills. <laughs> yeah, I have just taken to dumping DIYs and stuff in front of my, like at the front of my island. I hope someday I have a bigger lawn to tell folks to get off. Yeah. Kelly has a Godzilla as well. Go on, do the thing. Yeah. And she has this creepy coconut guy. Like, he's just creepy. Quick, let's run away. Coco is creepy. Coco is really creepy. Not Breener. There's three of them. Is there three or two of them? One of them mans the desk and one of them's the actual pilot. my island back up for visitors and then I'm gonna go and grab a drink so I will be right back but I'll put the code up first I want visitors online play Roger Yeah, I've got the Stormwind theme on it. Um, the only thing I'm missing at the moment that I'm actually looking for is Blue Roses. I've got a display with like one of, one of every colour and the only thing I don't have at the moment is a Blue Rose. So if you have one, that is spare because I know they're really really hard to get
There we go. The code is in chat. And now I'll find myself a seat. Yeah, fear has got it sorted. And I will leave you with <gasps> Alex following on his alt account. Yeah, we should go and have a look at Vera's island in a bit. If she's alright with that. But for now, I will leave you on the Be Right Back screen while I get a drink. And I'll leave you with more of little v -mails. So I will see you in a few minutes. Oops, I forgot to switch that. I have a surprise for you all. Look who's come to visit. Baby Luna. Say hello to everybody, Luna. Because that was hanging here. He tried. The little baby. You're so cute, Daddy. Here you go, pull back to Kelly. 
from me. Where's your Baba? Thank you, Mama. He seems very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Luna, our little rabbit. We have a an older, much grumpier rabbit called Bill as well. I've got no chance of showing him on stream. <gasps> Mellow. Mellow is now following as well. Right. Let's get back to the game, shall we? <gasps> Was that 50? Was that my 50th follower? Wow! I did not realise I was actually that close. I thought I had a few to go yet. Um, drop them anywhere around here. Like this is my little flower patch off to the left. <laughs> Poor Luna. Yeah. Thank you, Vera. These were the only ones I was missing. And I can now add them. Oops. I can now add them to the display. And we are done. I now have one of everything. Yeah, go for it. They're open for another half an hour or so, I think. Is it seven o'clock? Shops close. But yeah, feel free to take what you like. And the, the area here off to the right with all the stuff in it, you can take any of these if you want. Or take them for cataloging, because I'm sure I've got different colours to you and Manu as well. So if you pick stuff up, it'll catalogue the colours for you. Right, where to put the other blue rose? Pink vampire. Oh, is that the... Um, like the Victorian Wombrina? I think I've seen bits of it before. I know where to put the blue rails. You can go here. Only need to get everything else. Have you know that Brina is a massive fan of Twilight? Like he saw all of them on release day. Yeah, you know when he streams in his attic, the reason the camera is that way around is on the wall the other side is where all of his True Blood DVDs are. So he keeps them hidden off camera.
What else was I going to put? There. <laughs> You're alright, Vera. Take as much time as you want. Raid as much as you want as well. organized. We're trying to. Anything? No. Rubbish. <laughs> I always go to the wrong bit in the shop when I want to sell stuff. That's the food magazine I'll have. That. And the blue candle. Twilight or Blood Machines. Hard choice. Hello, Sydney. Oh, yeah, here's my little mantis shrimp. Boom, breaks the glass. my vampire squid and my octopus and my jellyfish
Yeah, get playing in get planes involved and Brina is sold. That's all you need to do. Hey Brina, do you want to go and make paper aeroplanes and you'll be in for it, no matter what. Poor old man who was lost out. Um, none at the moment, they've all been watered already. I had Manu and everyone watering them earlier. I'm just adding more stuff to, get to the giving pile at the moment. Oh yeah, this is the little play area I made. With the different coloured gyms and stuff. Oh, is it five people? Ah, right then. Um, to the left of the entrance, there's like... This little patches with four in. These are the ones I'm watering at the moment, trying to get hybrids. Trying to. Just any of these. So I'm trying to get all these ones to hybrid so I can make more and gift a couple to people as well. Don't think I've watered these actually, I should do. has finally been acknowledged by Brina. Now if only he could spell your name right. So next project in Animal Crossing will be making the little cult temple. The uh, temple to the trickster god. So they have a nice area set out for it. So on the top level up here There's a nice empty space near my little lounge garden. So I'm going to make it into like, try and make it into like a, a Roman style temple or something around here. Because one of the original plans for, island, for the island was to try and make it look like a cult. So I was giving everybody masks and things like that, but taken way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little Zen garden area. And then this bit outside out here, I'm going to clear the trees and the stumps and try and make this look a bit like a temple area. I might move these houses just so I can square it off a bit more. But that will be my next big project. I might have to have a look. I've not seen any of Evil Imp's stuff, so I'll have to have a look. 
I will add it to the ever-growing list of stuff I need to watch. Like, I've still not caught up with The Mandalorian. I was supposed to watch that at some point during the week. And I failed miserably at doing it. No problem, Vera, any time. I do like Roscoe's house. Like a little goth bedroom. So we will go and invade Vera's island and have a look round. Because it is very nice, I've seen bits of it before. And then I think we shall play some games together. Like some Scriblio and stuff like that online. We'll organise a couple of games and I'll stick some chill music on in the background or something. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and pop Sherry's music organ down while I remember. Cool, meteor shower. That's where was it? Street organ. And we'll put the South Pole up as well. Yeah, it doesn't work here. I've not got any sound stuff sorted out yet. I will do soon. Try. Ah! That was Kelly trying to scare me. That was my sister trying to scare me. music stuff. That's quite cool. I like that.
You don't have to, Brina. You could do a emergency tracheotomy instead. As long as you've got something to sterilise it and a decent biro pen, you can do it. Let's go and change my outfit. We'll put the Santa Claus as one of my wand outfits. I got literally that one you saw me get today. The ornament wreath and that's it so far. Oh, I've got a couple. Do I have more? Or is that the only one I've got? Yeah, I've only got that one so far. Bree Knight is probably doing more important things like talking to his Warcraft guild. clothes. So, normal clothes. We need my glasses, which I should actually be wearing, but I'm not. Because it's awkward having them on and the hats and everything else. Uh, jeans. There we go. Yeah, my eyes will just itch later. Uh, put you in storage. And we shall make a Christmas outfit. Oh, poor Bart, he's been demoted to egg now. Yeah, Alex told us the story about him going getting an eye test. What the, the guy said when he got there. There we go. Now we have the glasses as well. Right. Um, do I want a backpack with this? Nah. Yeah, I should wear them like whenever I'm looking at a screen, but I keep forgetting because I'm terrible. And yeah, red loafers will do with these. Yeah, they're the um, blue light filter glasses or whatever they're called. Is it blue light? Yeah, blue light filter glasses. There we go.
texture selection in this game is massive. Like, these are just the ones that I've bothered to pick up. There are, like, hundreds and hundreds more. Like, these are the ones that I've actually bought and kept for my character. I have one as well, Alex. Although I've got a red one and a blue one. My green one, like, got destroyed by accident. <laughs> Yay. So we get on this wand now. I have so I got the Christmas outfit. I've got my rich man outfit. I have the warm winter one. The stupid jester one. The steampunk one. The frog, which was the first outfit I got. Spooky Halloween one. And my wizard's outfit. No, you were supposed to go to the winter one. There. because this is the area where I'm, where I'm going to build the creepy temple or try to um, there's no air balloons or anything like that that I know of well, I know you can build stuff that looks like it so I've seen a few people who've built like uh, a lot of people build little coffee shops and stuff on their islands and I've seen somebody build a steampunk coffee shop where they went hunting around for all the the brass and copper colours and things like that I've not done today. I have not checked the nook shop stuff. This will have lords in it. Yeah, just a casual winter picnic. Oh. <gasps> 
World map. I do not have the world map yet. Need to go and close the gate so I can. Cool. We shall go and invade Vera's island shortly. They're the ones who buy things. I almost did the same again. Yes. Brina advocating destroying stuff as well. Bells. There. I did have about five million, but I've donated a lot. Gave a bunch away to people. Thing, yes. Buy one of you. And then let's go visit Vera. Visit somebody and online and use a code. helping my mum out with some stuff the other day and she opened hers on the local network and I picked internet by accident and it took ages for it to like disconnect it from the internet and then reconnect and then go local and then join <gasps> interference yeah, I'm just going to spam it. If in doubt, just mash the button until it works. Which is the opposite of what I tell everybody at work. Think what would dodos do? Die out horribly, probably.
that Christmas display is cool. There's a rear away in adults. This bit's always so slow. <gasps> Look, it's Manu and Vera. Kelly, maybe. <laughs> Have a small party on the island. True. This is what I actually look like, Trua, if you've not seen it before. So how did you do in Shenmue? Did you actually work out what you were doing? Like last I saw you were uh, getting stuck. Hi Abby! I know you've been lurking and everything. Oh, look at that outfit. Oh, you found somebody who knew about it. Let's go on a tour around Vera's Island. Really cool. But I love all these lights, lights and sculptures. I'm just gonna follow Vera and see where she leads us. Oh, look at all these DIYs, hundreds of them. Yeah, Mellow followed me as well. <laughs> yeah, 50 followers was the last thing I needed, Trua. Already got everything else. Beekeeper's Hive, that was the one I was looking for. I already know it, apparently. Those are for a catalogue. Oh yeah, these will be the toys. Cool. Tin robot. Yeah, Vera's got a very pretty island. I've seen bits of it before. I think when Man who visited it on our stream. And a tent. And a dollhouse.
yeah, I made a mistake. Like when I was first getting everything, I um, sold a lot of the recipes that I should have really kept. So there are a lot of recipes I could have traded or given to people. I already know that one. I always forget which ones I know and which ones I don't. And yeah, I've got a lot of money, Abby. <gasps> Little mushroom seat. This what I think it is. Come on, all the way to... Yes, it is! I wanted one of those. Yeah, that was the big mistake I made. Like, I sold a lot of recipes and stuff at the start when I shouldn't have. I should have kept them, really. I'm going to go exploring, see what I can find. Maple. long so far. I already know it. And now we have an extra recipe. Decorated boards. I wonder what they were. So I've got a little beehive with a net and a little honey pot. That's really cool. I like this path as well. That must have taken forever to put this path down. And with the little puddles and everything in it. This is like a little pottery area. Yeah, it must have taken you forever to do all of those, Vera. Well, I used standard paths on most of mine, and I still got. <laughs> it still took me hours and hours to do it. Fauna! Fauna is cool. I've seen her in a bunch of islands. <laughs> no worries, Trua. I shall see you in a bit. Pumpkin pack. Bonsai trees, the bonsai trees are cool. I want to put some of those in my house, I've just not found anywhere to put them yet. I need to rearrange things a bit better. It's like a little design area as well, and fishing stuff. <laughs> I 
I've only ever had Taco Bell once. <gasps> There's a Santa beard in the shop. Yeah, I've only had Taco Bell once, I think. It's the mouse. Retta. I'll look, see what's in Nox first. Yeah, I've only had Taco Bell once. There's a Taco Bell in the centre of Manchester. Me and my mate Dave went once. She got the one with the white top hat. Cool. I can't even remember what I had at Taco Bell. It was like years and years ago. <gasps> lucky cat. Lucky cat. Everybody should have a lucky cat somewhere. And that thing is just weird. I think it's supposed to be a, a tanuki, I think it's called. as well right so we will be getting one of these trench coats because I like the trench coats I've just not seen them anywhere <laughs> the sushi outfit Santa beard. Yeah. Yeah, lots of shoes. There we go. Now I have a beard as well to go with my Santa outfit. Unfortunately I can't change it here I don't think. Well I'll just wear it like this for a bit. <laughs> Campsite. That's pretty cool. little log camping out area. A little waterfall behind it as well. There we go. No, that one. There we go. Yeah, I quite like that area. Like a nice little rest area.
Like when I lived in Wales, there was a, a part of the woods that we always used to go and chill out in. And it was called, like there was a trail that went all the way through the woods where we did LARP and reenactment and stuff like that. And there was a place called the Old Quarry. I don't even know if it ever was a quarry. There was just lots of shale rock there and stuff. But there was a little bench on top of the hill. And when you were sat on that, you could see like almost all the way. To, I think you could actually see the all the way to the coast from there. Because the, the way it sloped down, there was like a nice handy gap between all the houses and stuff. I used to love going there for picnics and stuff. Yeah, well, lovely. Like we used to, uh, we go for picnics in the woods, and we go up to that bench. We could see all the way down. We'd have barbecues on the beach and stuff like that. Garden area behind the shops. Let's go have a look. Sit this way. Oh, pirates treasure. Ah, stuck. Okay, we used to have barbecues on the beach and we'd run around the woods like lunatics dressed up with LARP weapons like those over there. I'll go and get one in a second show you all. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's really cool. It's like a like a garden and picnic area. But I do like the purple wind flowers as well. I've got a bunch of them on my island. Like they're not that hard to get, but I just really like the look of them. She's got a little pumpkin patch as well. <laughs> like a little guardian. Can I get across to it? There it jumps. Like a little guardian guarding the rocks. And these stone formations take forever. Like, uh, I looked up how to do it not long ago and it is a lot of effort so it's really impressive because you, you've basically got to cover you've got to break the rocks like these rocks you're going to break them and then basically cover every other space on your island yeah, to stop them spawning because they won't spawn where there's something else so you cover it all in mannequins or something like that and then they will spawn where you've left gaps open. Right. So I'm going to say goodbye to Vera. I'm going to head back to my island and then we shall play some web games and stuff together. So I will get Scribbly or something up first and we'll all join a room. Time to head home. 
mine. And I will get it all up, all set up. If I can remember the way it is this way, isn't it? Yeah, thanks for inviting us, Vera. It's a really pretty island. Really well done. I've got an Animal Crossing box from Target and a Peach Stress Ball in it. Oh, that's cool. Manu is going home. And my friend is playing Pikachu. This way, I went down the wrong path. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen people who've put like thousands and thousands of hours into this game. But if it's a game you enjoy, it's not wrong with it. Well, I'm sure my World of Warcraft time is something silly by now. Yeah, my mum recently got a switch in Animal Crossing for it. So me and my sister have been funneling her items and things like that to get her, her island set up. She's been playing it in her spare time. Cool. I am back to my island. I will leave you guys with some music while I get Gribbly all set up because I'll need to shuffle things around a bit. So it will only be a couple of minutes. And I have just realised the music isn't playing for some reason. I'll only be a second. There we go, can you hear that? There we go, sorted. Right, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Right, I have a room set up for you all to join. So, hide you. Hide you. Rewarn. You. So there is the link in chat to join this room. So all of you pile in and show me your terrible art skills. Just move this out of the way a bit. We will know if it shows any other players. So I have no idea whether I've set it up right or not, so... Oh, there we go. We've got Vera, we've got Manu's feet picks. I'm assuming that's supposed to be. Abby. You should be careful. I saw Abby playing this game earlier. She's dangerously good at it. It doesn't work over the headphones. There we go. So I think it is just us four for now. So I'll kick it off with us four. So Manu's feet picks is choosing a word. Ah, got it in seconds. Start. Um, Ah. 
Abby. Told you Abby was good at this game. Yeah, I think we all get ads on it. I think you have to like subscribe or get an account or something for the ads not to show up. Got a Bart as well now. It'll be my first pick, pick out of anything. tries come and join us start next like i think the if you haven't already there is the link it was magic barty's rubbish at this game Enjoy your lurking. <laughs> Everybody immediately thought the same things. There's a clue at the top. I did not notice that. Got him.
Oh yeah, I don't have a proper Spotify account, so you will occasionally get adverts. Day. Why can I not skip adverts? I used to have the option to do that at least one. Shut up with these adverts. Plant the seed to help kids reconnect with nature. Go away. Join. Yay, Christmas music is back. Penis fish.
I'm still confused. Thank you, Invade Fire, for the follow. See, told you Abby was good at this game. She smashed it. Should we have another round? Yeah, I'll post the link in chat. <laughs> so we'll give it a few seconds for other people to join. Or is it eight players the max? I don't know what the maximum number of players is for this. Let's see what it says. Uh, up to 12 players in private rooms. So we should be able to join. <laughs> Just in case you still need the link. There you go, Blaze. Free to pick five euro. <laughs> right, let's go then. Bucket. Feed pick five euro. Uh, 
Kelly gone. Man who would. <laughs> yeah, man who would. It's because you're rubbish, Kelly. You might have, Jake. This is the first time I've actually had camera on for my own stream, but... Thank you for the follow as well. There is a link, Jake. Getting better. Manu feet pick. It is towel. Um, wrinkles. Water. It is water. Oh, I've got to pick this one. Bart guessed it. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I never claim to be any good at drawing Abby. I have a perfect thing for this. There. Now you can't see the answer. And Bill is judging you for cheating. Yeah, Bill knows you're a treater now, Kelly. He's watching you. Ah, got it. That was brilliant. Ah, took me a second. I am science man, I recognise this. Hey Maeve, how are you doing? 
we are playing online games if you fancy joining us. You can play it in your browser. You can just click on that link and be as bad at drawing as us or as bad at guessing as Bart is. I think it works on mobile as well. It just depends how good your mobile is. <laughs> it is cursed. But yeah, I think Vera is the better artist out of us so far. No idea what this could be. See, Barton holds it. Yeah, I did not get that at all. No, Bart, you are a penis. don't know. Oh. 
Got it. <laughs> it's because he does steroids, Abby. Remains highly contagious. Show me stupid Even adverts. And now you get some nice silence until the adverts done. Come on, Kelly, pick something good. Christmas jazz. Uh, I got it.
It is. Noif. He's dead. Right, Dave. We are playing stupid internet games. I am dumb. It took me enough tries to get that one. Everybody is just confused now. Should have got that one. Screw you, Bart. Got it. Abby is still too good at this game.
<laughs> I was not so good at that one. <gasps> I won though. I won that one. And because it's almost half past, I am going to finish now. And this will be my last stream until after Christmas. So, thank you for coming everybody. I'm going to do what Abby's doing. I'm going to go and get food. But, yeah, I will be back on the 29th, I believe. I will just double check. Make sure I'm not actually working late or something that day. Uh, da, da, da. No, I will be back again on the 29th at half five. And I think we shall continue with Two Point Hospital then. So we'll play a lot more Two Point Hospital. So. I do have something for you all. Before you all go, just as a a goodbye from me for over Christmas. So, Are you ready, everybody? In three, two, one. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. So we'll see you all then. <laughs>